I just went to go grab my food bag and just chatted for about an hour with the survey crew and got to learn all sorts of interesting things out here. It was actually cold enough last night I could have been fully in my sleeping bag, which uh, that has been rare. Unfortunately, it's now warming up and I guess the mosquitoes are waking up. Unfortunately, I was talking instead of eating breakfast. So it looks like 36 more miles of Yellowstone until the return of freedom and then 85 until that lodge I am aiming for for my next resupply. And the way my feet have been the last couple of days, I may end up zeroing there. So overall, a far better night than the night before. Here's hoping that this next site's more like this one instead of a uh, Summit Lake. I do apparently have another geyser basin to look forward to once I get near Heart Lake. So similar to yesterday, I should have a bit of an easier day mileage-wise today. Only around 23, 24 miles, and there doesn't look to be a lot of climbing. I'm just hoping my feet uh, don't get any worse. They were kind of nasty when I got in the tent last night. These days, it's pretty much never my leg muscles just being done at the end of the day. It's more a, manner, a matter of uh, my feet or just odd chafing spots that tend to occur once I get into the mid-20s. Also, my food woes had been continuing, so I've been having trouble kind of narrowing down how much I'm actually eating any given day since my uh, hunger seems to go up and down. A week or two ago, I was eating everything in sight. Now, yesterday, I was hungry going into Old Faithful, but I decided I was going to get food. And then I basically didn't eat anything except some candy for the remainder of the day. And when I got to camp, I was almost tempted to just uh, give it up and eat a bar or something. I did end up cooking, but it was just the mosquitoes were so bad. So I have been packing heavier food-wise since it seemed like my hunger was trending up, but... Uh, and that is kind of annoying because I would prefer to, I was hoping to be able to really like nail down how much I was eating every day in this section since going through the winds is probably going to be my worst food carry of the trip, maybe. It's also going to be my prettiest section, <laughs> probably in Wyoming. So I really hope I'm not, uh, you know, starving through all of it and not enjoying it. And once again, this is just, ah, Mosquito Central. When I just had the jacket on, I kept getting bitten in the legs and on the face. They're even biting through my beard, which they don't normally do. Wow, that is probably the biggest uh, wet foot crossing I've seen so far. Normally I'd just do this in my normal shoes. However, this morning I've been having issues with uh, grit in my socks, rubbing against my wet toes. See those little red marks on my toes. This is why I start to feel like I can't win sometimes. So the rule is always stop and fix any foot issues right away because you don't want to make them worse and then have to deal with them for a couple of days. But it's not always something correctable. Sometimes I just have to do the best I can. Here I washed my socks. I have a pair of socks I washed yesterday I'm trying to get dry. Dry my shoes, and then I'll uh, get going again. If taters were here, this is where I'd be talking about just not being that good at this walking thing. <laughs> my feet are not having a good day. This is where I wish there was really an option to get off trail for a day or two. So this is the rather busy Heart Lake Trailhead. And now it starts raining. So this is called Witch Creek for the obvious reason. Another thermal area, though. Looks like I'm not gonna get to go through it quite as closely as that other one yesterday.
So my camp for the night is basically the far outlet of uh, Heart Lake over there. Per my spreadsheet, I just crossed a thousand miles since Canada. You know, actual hiked miles. Sadly, Taters isn't here to enjoy the little froggies. It's been just me and the mosquitoes back here. Last time I saw anybody was a pair of day hikers before I got to the lake. Okay, and this is my campsite, aka Heart River, at mile marker 1024. Yet again, another site Jen would just love. And home sweet home for the night. At least for now, I've got this place to myself.